We have cosine 5 theta minus pi over 6 equals negative square root of 2 over 2. First of all, let's look at this term in the right side of the equation. Obviously, its absolute value is less than 1. This means that we can get straight to solving this equation. So we have 5 theta minus pi over 6 equals positive or negative inverse cosine of the negative square root of 2 over 2 plus 2 times pi times k where k is an integer. This summand, 2 times pi times k, means that we're going to have such two solutions for each period which is equal to pi because the cosine function is periodical with the period 2 pi. We also know that the inverse cosine function of a negative argument is transformed into the following. So we have the inverse cosine of negative x equals pi minus the inverse cosine of x. So let's apply this formula into our equation. And we'll have the following. 5 theta minus pi over 6 equals positive or negative pi minus inverse cosine of square root of 2 over 2 plus 2 pi k. We also know that the inverse cosine of square root of 2 over 2 equals pi over 4. So we have 5 theta minus pi over 6 equals positive or negative pi minus pi over 4 plus 2 pi k which equals positive or negative 3 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k where k is an integer. But this is not yet a solution to our equation, so we go on solving it, only we'll split it in two parts. The first one being 5 theta minus pi over 6 equals positive 3 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k. And the second is 5 theta minus pi over 6 equals negative 3 pi over 4. That's not equal to 4. This one is plus 2 pi k. Let's now solve these two equations. I'm going to need more space. to the common denominator. Uh, this one will go times 3 and this one will go times 2. 
So we'll have 5 theta equals 9 pi plus 2 pi over 12 plus 2 pi k. 5 theta equals 11 pi over 12 plus 2 pi k. And then finally, theta equals 11 pi over 60 plus 2 pi k over 5. And k is an integer. Now moving to the second part. We have 5 theta equals negative 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. The same here, reducing these two sums in, uh, to the common denominator. So this one goes times 3 and this one is times 2. And we'll have 5 theta equals negative 9 pi plus 2 pi over 12 plus 2 pi k. Then we have 5 theta equals negative 7 pi over 12 plus 2 pi k. And then finally we have theta equals negative 7 pi over 60 plus 2 pi k over 5, where k is an integer. So these two thetas are the solutions to our equations, our equation which I have 